In recent months, eight students, groups from various European universities across six countries, investigated the impact of climate anxiety on family planning as part of their contribution to the 30th anniversary preparations for the International Year of the Family. Drawing on a comprehensive study in The Lancet, which disclosed that 40% of Gen Z individuals globally hesitate to have children due to climate concerns. The groups met in Brussels on January 31st. There, they discussed their findings, formulated recommendations, and presented them in the European Parliament, engaging with representatives from the European Committee of the Regions, the European Economic and Social Committee, and field experts. As members of one of the groups, we have been designated to convey the outcomes. We want to underline that young people's commitment to the environment extends beyond civic and political participation. It is interwined with their concept of transitions. By challenging the current growth model and its environmental impact, young people question the economy's centrality in defining adulthood. Thank you very much. The 2023 Eurobarometer survey underscores that the 77% of Europeans considers climate, consider climate change a highly serious problem, indicating a prevalence of eco-anxiety, as recognized by the American Psychology Association, with the consequent effects on mental, mental health and resilience. This leads us to ponder the ethical, the environmental, livelihood and political considerations underlying concerns about climate change and reproductive decision making. Addressing climate change involves transforming our practices to build a sustainable future. So, but imposing a draconian one-child limit policy in a country like France, as demonstrated by Emmanuel Pont in his Brussels presentations, would yield only marginal emissions reductions, similar to shutting down all coal fired power stations. Additionally, research from the University of Leeds indicates that an individual living alone produces a comparable or even higher carbon footprint than a household of at least four people. To have a generation to save the planet for, we need to empower our society. We don't need to paralyze it. Moreover, while humanity poses a significant threat to itself, an anti-natalist narrative Discouraging childbirth to protect the environment is discriminatory, especially considering higher birth rates in the global south, while the majority of global warming is attributed to the actions of the global north. Addressing declining birth rates requires a nuanced understanding of various factors, including climate change anxiety and shifts towards individualism in society. There is no one size fits all solution and potential secondary effects of simplistic approaches must be considered. Economic challenges and climate anxiety undermine the family's role in social development. Restoring confidence in ourselves and our roots is crucial to overcoming fear and approaching the future with realism and courage. We advocate for effective policies focusing on promoting family values, countering information overload, and fostering a commitment to building a future through family life. Prat practical measures such as policies with economic incentives, equal job opportunities, and recognizing motherhood as a full-time job can boost youth confidence in investing in a family. Political entities should prioritize awareness campaigns for genuine sustainable living instead of endorsing unnecessary protection. Governments should develop plans at all levels, fostering critical thinking, reframing narratives, addressing negative psychological impacts, creating supportive environments for parents, 
and providing economic compensations for families reducing their consumption. Thank you very much.